Welcome guys, let's start to design this simple part in KTR software. So this is our 3D part which are which you have to complete now. The 2D sketch of this is like this. So let's start to create this in KTR software. So first of all, open the KTR software and go to the start. Mechanical design, part design, you name whatever you want to do. Now the first task in this we can keep here some more time to this yeah, that's is to make hide this plane or the three to three plane and make sure you want a geometrical shape you call one point as it is an origin and insert access system to this point that's okay now our first work is done and let's start to design this part the so first of all we will create this part and with this part then we can create this particular part so let's start to design this part in z2f then to select z2f plane and what is important is this add to this line and let's sketch this part so we have to create two circles i mean it is as 80 and 105 so create two circles here And 80 and 105 radius value. So Q1 as 80, Q1 other as 105. And now draw one horizontal axis here. Trim this following two circles and make two semicircles here. On this, we have to create actually, we have to create this line because our origin is this, and from origin, we have to create one line is 30 line so create one horizontal line here this line 30 from this place and create one another line here horizontal line this line it's 25 from this second line. And actually, the full length of this, so here you can see from this to this is used to 50, and the radius of this outer circle is 25. Means 250 plus 25 plus 25 means again 50 means 300. So we can give from this to this is 300. So it is 25 plus 100. 
make sure to make this line with the center and so after 300 draw the horizontal line sorry vertical line and from here also go to here trim check this line this line this line this line now go to put trim here and tr and trim this unnecessary line so this this Now go to dimension pieces. Now you can check our sketches for the question. Only this axis value we have to do. Now it is fully custom. So make sure to exit to work again and select part body as an object. And uh, actually, with the pad value we have to keep. So we can check here for outer diameter. Is this circle is 150. This value is 150. So we can take it as 200. So you click on this pad. Select this center and make mirror text here. 200 we are giving. Right. So first case is done. So go to the again sketch position, select this XY plane, this projector point as origin, let's start to design this upper part here. So as center we have to create one circle. It is not coming exactly at the center, so create once again. The value of this um, circle is 150 as a diameter. We have two circles. Exactly coincident with this vertical axis. And uh, value of this outer radius is twenty five radius in mm. Make sure you are to twenty five. From center, it is as half of two feet. So make this same circle in other circle by using this command mirror command. Now go to here to line command fly and select this bilateral line. Select this circle and this circle. This circle and this circle. This circle and this. This. Now trim this unnecessarily part here. 
now our sketch is ready so check this is fully cashier yes I the door guys Yes, pocket command here reverse the direction make sure you have choose reverse side increase some value here so it will cover fully this sketch you will be here as a 150 present now you can see our this part is ready it is this part and now we have to create the same circle on this face is for creating these circles create one plane here so you can see a reference element here so select this reference element go select this plane and this plane is actually at value of 150 select offset from plane now select this plane Pink on sketch positioning origin is in this point Make sure to which parallel we have given. Reverse this and reverse this. Here we are creating one circle. Having dia as auto dia is 150. Diameter 150. Now it's a door bench, sketch work bench. Go to pad command here. Select reverse direction and select up to next surface. Select this surface of this object. Now we have to create this inner part of this. So go to scale position, select this plane, get our plane, project this line. And cut this by using this cut part of the sketch. So half part we can see here. So it makes easily to design. So for this first of all we are taking an axis here for reference purpose only. And now create this sketch here. value of this upper part is 20 make sure this part is coming from this so actually it is 140 and 150 yes it is actually 150 And the value of this is here is given as a 123. So we have made half of this. English to this. It's 123 by 2. From this to this. The value is half of 75. Now 
of part two district is created. Also, it is fully cashier. So, exit the food sketch work. Now, we are using here one group. Group command. So, select group command. And select axis as z axis. And angle should be 360. It's okay. Now, you can see our this whole and this also is created on this sketch. And only our uh, last part is remaining to create two, two holes in this area. So for creating this, let's go to this whole command and select this face position sketch and this point should be two fifty from this body from this axis to one half of this two fifty it is point twenty And it should be aligned on this y axis. Now exit the workbench. Make sure what is the value of this hole. Diameter of this hole is 25 and it is not blank, it is absolute. The same hole we want to make on the other side. So select this hole, click on the mirror comma, select this plane. Then you can get exactly one on the other side. Now in this process, this part is ready.